seas, ships, seafarers, shipyards, marine resources, sea transport passengers. Words that encapsulate the maritime industry. In 1974, the Philippine government, under the leadership of former President Ferdinand E. Marcus, took a significant step towards exhilarating the integrated development of the maritime industry as a vital component of the national economy by signing the Presidential Decree No. 474, establishing the Maritime Industry Authority under the supervision of the Office of the President. The foundation of Marina has marked the beginning of a new era for the promotion, development, regulation, and supervision of the country's maritime industry, covering the domestic shipping, overseas shipping, shipbuilding and ship repair, and the maritime workforce. Started inside the PPL building in Manila, Marina piloted with OIC Administrator Captain Abraham Campo from July 18, 1974 to August 28, 1975. On August 29, 1975, the Marina officially commenced its operations through the appointment of our very first Administrator, Colonel Generoso Tanseco. Since then, the Marina has become an important national government agency. Looking back on the functional evolution of the agency, Presidential Decree No. 666 was issued on March 5, 1975, which provided for the registration and licensing of the country's shipyards by the Marina. Presidential Executive Order No. 546, issued on July 23, 1979, attached the Marina to the then Ministry of Transportation and Communications. The Marina assumed the quasi-judicial functions over maritime transportation pursuant to Executive Order 1011, issued on March 20, 1985, making it co-equal to a regional trial court. In 1987, the Marina assumed safety regulation functions pursuant to Executive Order 125-1258. To support the modernization of the domestic shipping industry, Republic Act No. 9295 was enacted in 2004, providing incentives for the domestic shipping, shipbuilding, and ship repair sector. To ensure its continued leadership in moving the global economy, Republic Act No. 10635 was issued in 2014, designating and strengthening the Marina as the single maritime administration for the implementation of the STCW Convention for Seafarers 1978 as amended. In recognition of the important role of Filipino seafarers in the movement of global trade and in the national economy, Presidential Proclamation No. 183 declared Filipino seafarers as the country's sailing ambassadors. Our achievements have been made possible through the dedicated service of the agencies, administrators, employees over the years, industry partners, private and government agencies. Today, the marina stands tall for all the things that it has achieved, from over a thousand wooden hull ships and second-hand important ships to more than 21,000 ships carrying inner island trade and connecting people from one island to another. From obscure shipbuilding to world-class facilities catapulting the Philippines as the fourth largest shipbuilding country in the world. 23,534 deployed seafarers for overseas trade in 1975 to a whopping 578,626 in 2023. Traditional shipping routes to the nautical highway system to connect the islands of the archipelago. 
long queue for the processing of documents to full automation and digitalization, significantly reducing direct costs to seafarers in the amount of approximately 97 million pesos for the reduced fee on SDCW certificates. From 169 pioneer employees to 1,042 warm bodies who continue to provide quality service to our stakeholders. Through the marina, the Philippines positions itself as an active member of the IMO Council and a responsible member of the international maritime community. We now stand proud with our locations in various parts of the country. Almost 50 years since the establishment of Marina, we have started the implementation of our long-term Maritime Industry Development Plan 2028 with the support of the current administration of President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcus Jr. With the issuance of Executive Order No. 55 in February 2024, the future is bright for the Maritime Industry.